Welcome back to my channel. If you have not like and subscribe the channel, please like and subscribe the channel. In this video, I am going to share you what is actually Apple declarative device management, which is actually very helpful tool to control the iOS software update or in fact you can apply for the Mac operating system as well. And along with the password policy, if you want to configure with the declarative device management. So in this uh, video, I will only cover the iOS, how you can control the software on iOS devices and how it's different from uh, the normal uh, update policy uh, for iOS devices. So as you can see on my screen, this is the update policy as you already know, right? If you go to the devices here and click on iOS, you will see the update policy and if you configure this policy and it will only get applied to the supervised devices but I am going to show you how Apple declarative DDM declarative device management will work on non supervised devices as well and what is that difference between these supervised how you can control the OS updates and what is the difference between DDM and this update policy so in DDM we call a managed software update and here uh, for supervised devices we call a software update policy only. So through DDM this integrations actually it makes easier for users to manage when the updates are installed right and this collaborative approach through DDM that user have more control over the devices management experience within the Intune environment. So this declarative device management is the new solutions which Microsoft Intune is going to offer for all your Apple devices, no matter whether it's a supervised or non supervised. It provides an autonomous and proactive management capability. So, and we all are excited about this declarative device management feature which is available in, in the Intune, right? So let's uh, briefly talk about what is uh, DDM. DDM is a declarative device management, which is actually full form. It is the modern solutions for managing the Apple iOS devices. And it is actually proactive management capability, which actually we can use to uh, control the iOS versions through Microsoft Intune, and which is actually innovative solutions, or you can say Apple has uh, made a innovative solutions to integrate with the Microsoft Intune. So how does DDM uh, enhance the device management with Intune for Apple devices? So DDM features empower users to efficiently control software updates. And this approach is more user friendly and customizable device management experience within the Intune environment, right? So let's get into the configurations, how we can configure this and how we can enable the managed software update so, so that you will get to know uh, how you can install the updates on supervised and non-supervised devices, right? So here, if you, this is, uh, you are here you have to go to the configurations profile, click new profile and select the setting templates. Let's create and give it name Apple iOS DDM policy or you can say manage software update policy because it is going to be managed through into click next add setting and you see here declarative device management and under the declarative device management you will see there is two options password and software updates let's click on you can apply both but I am just going to the software updates select all these okay if you select this detail okay now close this base and you see here the target build versions so you need to find the build versions of your in which you want to upgrade your devices so how you can find simply just go to and find apple ios build versions you will get to know easily Let's uh, open any one of them. Okay. I'm not here. 
Mm -hmm. Build versions. So it be it will be like something I'll show you. So what is the will like twenty one something a it's some numeral form will versions. So this release notes if we can find it not here so uh, somewhere You can also find from your iPhone like by going to the settings general and about but let's open this one and uh, let's click on iOS 17 and somewhere I can find oh, is it difficult no no not so difficult uh, but yeah you see here so let's talk about this is build versions right you see here uh, let's uh, let's pick 17.4.1 which is actually latest it is a release on March 21st or let's March 20 17.04 okay now go to your uh, Intune console target build version I selecting so I'm selecting six seventeen dot four okay and when you want to deploy and the time will be in UTC so I want to deploy today or maybe tomorrow UTC time 12 a.m. you can change the date and time and URL so URL is like it just support organizations you can give anything uh, like for me I'm just giving my home URL let me find that okay okay you can keep from so you see you have to find the build versions build for person you can get it from anywhere i mean google i just find it from the wikipedia you see here build versions for all these person and build and code name right <coughs> so I put the build number, URL, support URL, and the target OS version. I want to this target OS version will, which is actually update the device to appropriate time, right? And uh, this is actually very important. This versions uh, it may take the supplemental. Like if you want to put like some something like A or B, right? You you can deploy it. Now now just click on next you can define the scope click next and you want to assign to all the devices or select users let's get created you see the profile let's refresh it the profile got created and this uh, here is your profile it's deployed to your all your devices and, and if you want to see, click on here you will see the target with versions target date and time target OS versions detail URL so all these details you can use it uh, and to to update your devices uh, to the latest version if you want to update to the 16 17.4.1 or any lower version and upgrade versions 
you can put it here the build version and OS version so that your devices will get updated in case if you want to learn more about this what is uh, declarative device management you can always go to the developer.apple.com and you can use that this declarative device management features are separate from the older MDM setting and only apply to a devices enabled for the declarative management so this is uh, very important you see here and it's it's different from uh, this policy because this policy will only apply to your supervised devices but DDM will apply to your non supervised devices as well but yeah the only condition is you can see here which is actually mentioned only apply to devices enable for the declarative management and make sure you mention the target OS versions so that uh, your devices will get updated right you can also configure the passcode policy inside that and and the only difference in the declarative device management is uh, the difference is you won't be you won't be able to uh, auto deploy the latest update uh, if you use this DDM so auto update uh, to the latest version it will be only through the update, po update policy software update policy only for the supervised devices rest all you can put enforce you can deadline you have already put right the only difference is you can't uh, auto update the latest update it will, can only happen through the update policy I hope you learn but this is how you can control the OS uh, version on your iOS devices and this is very good tool if you want to uh, take and Tech. and the one important is uh, thing this DDM this many software update policy will have precedence over other policy that is actually configured here so you can configure both the policies like one for the supervised here and you can also configure the DDM policy but the DDM policy will always take precedence over uh, the software update policy so you can the, both the policy can coexist together but this policy will always take precedence so make sure if you are doing this, uh, uh, make sure uh, you can always uh, think about this, uh, which policy will you you are taking precedence over any of the policies, and then you can always monitor uh, how actually your update is going on. You can you can see here installation failure of iOS update. You can monitor all the iOS updates here. I hope you learn how you can create the declarative device management policy and how you can configure and how you can use with your normal software update policy. Till then, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.